I come back once more again. Now this is the third part where I take you through how to uh, handle the complaints from the database. What we need to do just the way we did the first one, copy everything we have here, then paste. Now once you paste these, just like the way we did the first one, okay, manage all complaints. Complaints. Okay. Now save it. Uh, okay, PHP. Okay. Manage. Complaints. Dot PHP. Okay. Now we have done this. So let's move on. Now um, I'm going to change uh, the class here. Uh, view complaints. Um, okay. The class active here. I'm going to cut it out first for now. Okay, now, now let me complete this back again. Okay, now um, log out. Okay, view complaints. Um, okay, view orders. Uh, this is gonna be view. Sorry, view. View complaints. That uh, PHP okay now um i think the next thing we're going to do right here is um, to change some things here now before we know what to change here i think what we need to do is to contact our database now let's go back to our lane now this is a complaint now um we have user id name okay just delete from here uh the next one is email email phone that I means your phone number phone number the next one is complaint well, let's say issue issue and the next one is action okay now our DB file it's uh, connected through this file here now but this table name will change from orders to um, complaint but this is not capital C this is small C Starts to avoid errors okay now dbcon uh these this is correct but these are not correct okay let's check the database okay name the next one is email email okay the next one is phone phone complaint okay uh complaints okay now um okay let's do the same thing here copy okay this is correct copy this copy uh, and uh, paste here sorry paste here copy these as well um okay paste um okay the next one is phone um okay paste and the last one here yeah, is complaint. Copy. Then this is uh, okay. Paste here. Now, this is going to be. Let's change this to D3. That means we're going to create another file called uh, D3.php. Then uh, let's check if this will work. Now, what you need to do is to go to our web browser and uh, um, um, okay, view um, complaints. complaints the PHP let's see oh sorry sorry view complaint the PHP oh, we're correct okay manage complaints sorry 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 I'm very sorry for that manage manage complaints okay good now you're gonna see this works as well now it's very simple just like we i taught you now to make this work the first thing we need to do is to create um our delete dot um, d3.php just like the way just like um what we mentioned here uh d3.php so you open a new file they go to your d2 copy everything you have there and paste here now save d3 dot uh, php 
okay now we need to edit some things here from our complaints complaints table in our database which can be found inside or which is connected through connection of php where complaint user it is dash um okay view orders now this will be a manage sorry manage complaint complaint now manage complaint of php okay now i think um okay let's move on where user id goes this okay now let's try it once more maybe it's gonna work good now let's try delete this and let's see if it will work delete good it works now you can see how it works now from what we have here we have a critical understanding that we now have uh, a, a safe access on how we can uh, connect to our database view users view orders and view complaints now from here you can click here view sorry oh sorry sorry okay i haven't linked them together i'm very sorry okay we have view users the php now this is it here now the next one should be um view orders which we can see through this place orders um okay now we can see this as well we can delete now we can view complaints as well view complaints complaint the php sorry this cannot be found sorry manage complaint i think what we need to do right now is uh, to go into each file and uh, edit the nerve uh, menus okay let's first start with few users okay we have um sorry okay 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 view users now this is um under um view users we use as php the next one here it's um v orders v orders as php the next one is uh, sorry manage complaints manage complaints dot um, php okay now the last one is logout which doesn't have an, anything now the next one is v orders so the view orders we also have um, sorry this is uh, view users.php the next one is view orders okay this is view complex view complaints dot uh, php sorry manage complaints sorry i get i do miss these things together okay manage complaint view orders view users okay uh, manage complaints Let's check let's go up okay we have the same error here this is a um, view users dot php this is v orders this is manage manage complaint the php okay now let's go online and, uh, and test now we have these we have v users of php good now i can navigate from here down here v orders okay v users v orders v complaints logouts but i haven't linked this oh man logout so the next video what i'm going to do next is to, to teach you how to um, create the um secure login access for admin so that means uh, admin hours and uh is we're going to have a new folder we are we're going to create inside the same uh, directory under this uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we're going to create a new directory inside our um, lane, which is going to be admin. So, admin, and we're going to move all these v users, v orders, um, manage, sorry, manage complaints, d to d3, delete complaints. No, that's all. We're going to move it straight to this folder. And we're going to copy connection but we are going to uh, make sure we do the proper um 
page or let me say let me say page arrangement that means the directory so as for it to link properly to each other now thank you for watching this video i'm going to meet you in the next section where i take you through on how to create the secure login assets for the admin area now once more please i would like you to subscribe i would like you to comment i would like you to share my video this is just what you can do for me and i would like you to keep commenting if there is any problem you are facing or if by any way you stumble upon an error which you are not able to solve yourself i would advise you to drop a little comment for me so that i can attend to your case uh, very fast and also uh, this video is uh, brought up as uh, um, by one of my uh, loyal um, subscribers who requested this to be done in full course now i'm doing it for free at full course for everyone so as for you to enjoy thank you